Hi, everybody. Alright, welcome back to Circuit Breaker Hell. What is this, fourth or fifth iteration or something like this? Um, yeah, so today we're working on a little bit of the Circuit Breaker, so we've got the copper bars all done. Uh, the only thing that we need to do is sand down the ends, grind down the ends so it's nice and smooth and they don't jut out because, you know, that is carrying 12 volts. And so they basically have to live in isolation where nothing will touch them. Anyway, here's a look at the new panel. So we've removed a few breakers, as you can tell. Uh, the layout's pretty much the same. The first two top rows are the essential bus, followed by uh, the avionics bus, and then followed by the rest of the stuff on the main bus. Uh, I still need... So actually, the second EFIS that's on the... Th fourth row actually wound up getting moved into the avionics switch uh, row, the third there. Um, I think I also moved, I may have moved a couple more around, but that's that's more or less the how, how it looks at the end. Uh, the only thing that we really have left to do is, like I said, we need to sand down the ends, make sure they don't go anywhere. Um, I've had to make a new jumper, as you can see, I've put on so that all the rows in the main bus get the same 12 volts. We're relatively happy with that, and I am happy to announce that uh, in a couple of videos we might actually start hooking the wires in. Won't, wouldn't that be amazing? be a damn miracle is what it would be. Alright, so uh, let's see. Outside of that, do I got any questions? Uh, yeah, I got a little Q&A. The other day someone said that I was an inspiration. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's not really a question. I just wanted to repeat what else someone else had said. Uh, I've been described as many things. That's not one of them. Alright, so we're going to do... I, what am I doing here exactly? Isn't that interesting? Now, that's an interesting point of view. This is pointed directly up towards the firewall from underneath. Apparently, I'm doing something very fascinating with the wire that I needed to bring the camera over with. Couldn't even tell you what that was. All right, so we're done working on the panel for the day. So good. Here we go. Um, I have a so I someone had said, you know, you you need to have a spring scale to measure the amount of stress that you need to put on or stress amount of force that you need to put on the front tire to move it. Right. So we've got those Belleville washers and that big huge nut, and that requires a one and three quarter inch wrench. And you can see me tightening it up and then pulling the wheel. Uh, the idea is that you want it to be, you know, at least twenty. 5 to 26 pounds of pressure to move the front tire. I achieved that, and then I noticed that, oh, wait, this giant nut is held on by a cotter pin. And it. And the only way that I'm going to get that cotter pin through is I need to, well, I can tighten up or I can loosen the nut. Well, if you loosen the nut, it's less poundage. If I tighten up this nut, it'll be more poundage. But then at least I know that the wheel will be secured. So I did have to move the nut a little bit, uh, you know, in order for the cotter pin to work out. I believe the final weight for moving the front tire moved up to about 29 and a half pounds. So, you know, not bad. We're very happy with that. Now we're going to put the buckets back on. People have been, a couple people did ask, you know, how, how do those buckets secure? Well, those tent stakes actually came with some straps. They weren't tent stakes, first of all. I apologize for that. They're actually trampoline stakes, even though I, I couldn't tell you the difference. And so they came with their own straps. So I just looped the strap up about five times a piece and that's more than enough to hang that those 75 pound buckets so each right each layer of the strap is holding 15 pounds and that's not bad okay now that we've got the circuit breaker more or less where we want it um it's time to actually hop into the plane and start wiring this thing up i believe uh, that's why i'm putting the brackets on and i think a seat back's coming yeah, this is good. So in the next videos, uh, we're going to start working on actually getting the circuit breaker panel wired in. Uh, finally making some progress on this. So hoping that everyone's having a good Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.